Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the tensile strength and compressive strength. So in this lecture, I would like to explain the main difference between these two types of the strengths with the help of an example. So compressive strength can be defined as it is the strength developed inside a material due to the application of the compressive load. And the tensile strength is the strength developed in the material due to the application of the tensile load. So to explain with the help of an example, let's consider that this is in a steel rod and we applied the compressive load on the steel rod. So due to the application of compressive load, it will try to compress this object and it will squeeze like in this way. So, due to the application of compressive load, this object will compress. That's why we call that there is a compressive load acting on this material. And the resistance to this compressive load will be called is the compressive strength of this material. So, let's consider this is load P acting on this material and there is some internal resistance created in order to resist this compressive load. So, this internal resistance dividing by the cross-sectional area of the object will be known as the compressive strength of this material. So, compressive strength, if let's suppose this load acting on this material is 100 kN, the maximum load that this material can take is 100 kN, is a compressive load applied. In the area of this material, let's suppose, the original area of this material is 0.1 to 5 square meter, so the compressive strength will be equal to the force divided by the area. So force is 100 kN and area is 0.1 to 5 square meter. So it will be equal to the 800 kN per square meter. So this will be the compressive strength of this steel rod. Similarly, if there is a tensile load acting on the object, so the resistance provided to the tensile load will be the tensile strength of the material. Let's consider this is in a steel rod and there is a tensile load acting on this material and the tensile load tends to elongate the material so it will change its position like in this way. So it will elongate along the length. So now this load, this load will be called is the tensile load. So the resistance will be in opposite direction to that of the applied load. So now the internal resistance created inside this material dividing by the area of this object will be called is the tensile strength of the material or of the steel rod. So the tensile strength will be equal to the the tensile load acting on this material dividing by the area of the material. So the tensile load means let's suppose this load acting on this material that the maximum load that this material can take is 1000 kN. Let's suppose this is an example 1000 kN and the area of this original material is let's suppose is 0 0.10 square meter. So the tensile strength will be equal to the 1000 divided by 0 0.10 so the tensile strength comes out to be 10,000 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the tensile strength of the material. And up to this strength, the material can take the load. And after this load, the material will break into two portions. Similarly, this is the maximum load that a material can take. Otherwise, if the load is increased from 100 kilonewton, the material will break into two portions or may it break in the shear way. So this is the maximum load that the material can take. That's why we call it is the strength because strength is the maximum capability of a material that can take. Hope you guys understand the main difference between these two types of the strength and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.